10 things from your daily life that kill your testosterone levels. You gotta watch. Testosterone is super important for dudes, so you gotta know what's up with these 10 everyday things that can mess with your testosterone levels. So stick with us, because number five is a real game changer. Number one, lack of proper sleep. Not getting enough sleep is linked to lower testosterone levels. Make sure you're getting good quality shut-eye. It plays a big role in a dude's energy levels, sex drive, ability to focus and concentrate, and other aspects of overall health. If your testosterone levels drop, you could run into issues in these areas. Does lack of sleep reduce testosterone levels? Yes. As part of our natural circadian rhythm, testosterone levels increase during sleep. Studies have shown that sleep deprivation can cause a significant decrease in testosterone production. Additionally, a man's testosterone level naturally begins to decline around the age of 40. So, a middle-aged or older man who doesn't sleep well may experience a significant drop in testosterone production. The relationship between testosterone and sleep deprivation goes both ways. Lack of sleep lowers testosterone production, and low testosterone can cause or worsen insomnia. Researchers have found that as testosterone levels drop, the amount of cortisol circulating in the body increases. Cortisol is the body's primary stress hormone. One of its functions is to increase alertness, which can result in shorter sleep cycles and shallower sleep. The good news about the correlation between sleep and testosterone levels is that by getting more sleep, you can increase testosterone production and improve your health. Use these proven tips to improve your sleep and boost your testosterone levels. Stick to a regular sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at the same times seven days a week can help you sleep better. Keep a good sleep environment. Your bedroom should be dark and quiet. Limit nicotine, caffeine, and alcohol intake. Cutting back is especially important later in the day. Alcohol in particular might seem relaxing, but it can harm sleep quality. Avoid spending time on your phone for at least an hour before bed. The blue light emitted by devices can negatively affect your sleep. Get plenty of physical activity. Regular exercise, especially, can help you sleep better. Just try to work out as early as possible, because exercising too close to bedtime can make it harder to fall asleep. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese can reduce the amount and quality of sleep. Number two. Poor nutrient diet. Nutrient deficiencies, especially vitamins and minerals, can negatively affect testosterone production. The best way to increase testosterone levels is to follow a nutritionally balanced diet, prioritizing whole foods and limiting alcohol, saturated fats, and highly processed products, achieving a moderate weight, and exercising regularly. There's no single food that can instantly boost someone's testosterone. However, the following examples can support testosterone production as part of a balanced diet. Testosterone naturally decreases with age, but levels can also be low due to medical conditions or medications. Anyone experiencing symptoms of low testosterone should talk to a doctor. Certain foods, including oysters, leafy greens, fatty fish, and olive oil, can stimulate the body to produce more testosterone. Foods containing zinc, vitamin D, and magnesium may be crucial. A person can ensure they're getting the right nutrients by following a balanced diet. Some of the foods that most help increase testosterone levels are oysters. Zinc is essential for reproductive health, and oysters contain more zinc per serving than any other food. Guys with severe zinc deficiency can develop hypogonadism, where the body doesn't produce enough testosterone. They might also experience impotence or delayed sexual maturation. People can also find the mineral in other shellfish, red meat, poultry, beans, and nuts. It's important to note that zinc and copper compete for absorption. Be cautious when choosing supplements to avoid consuming too much of either mineral. Leafy green vegetables. Veggies like spinach, Swiss chard, and kale are loaded with magnesium, which can boost testosterone levels in the body. Leafy greens are also packed with many other nutrients and can help maintain a balanced diet. Other good food sources of magnesium include beans and lentils, nuts and seeds, and whole grains. Fatty fish and fish oil. Studies link low-fat diets to low testosterone production. Fatty fish and fish oils are sources of good fats, known as omega-3 fatty acids. These compounds bring numerous health benefits, like supporting heart and joint health. Eating fatty fish or taking fish oils in moderation can help increase a person's total fat intake in a healthy way. Examples of fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids include mackerel, herring, salmon, sardines, and trout. Enjoying the video so far? Have you been training for a while and your muscles don't seem to be developing? I've prepared a guide to get you out of this situation and gain muscle up to three times faster. The link to this guide is in the description and in the first comment attached. Number three, 
Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can decrease testosterone levels. Moderation is key. According to a review from 2023, alcohol consumption can reduce testosterone production. This can happen when an individual drinks alcohol more heavily, especially if done chronically. However, occasional and light to moderate consumption can actually cause an increase in testosterone production. Additionally, evidence suggests that genetics may play a significant role in this process. A study from 2022 looked into the effects of alcohol consumption on testosterone levels in Korean men. Some of these men experience flushing when drinking alcohol, and this phenomenon has a genetic origin. The study found that heavy drinkers who experienced flushing had lower testosterone levels than those who didn't drink. There are three glands necessary for testosterone production in men, the hypothalamus, the anterior pituitary gland, and the testicles. The hypothalamus releases a hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which acts on the anterior pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary gland then releases luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. In response to LH and FSH, your testicles synthesize testosterone. Alcohol can disrupt testosterone production by interfering with all three glands. Heavy drinkers are more likely to have impaired testicular function than people who consume a moderate amount of alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption is generally considered more than 15 drinks per week for men or more than 8 drinks per week for women. Guys who drink heavily are more likely to experience erectile dysfunction, low testosterone levels, and low libido. Chronic alcohol misuse is believed to damage Leydig cells in the testicles, which are responsible for testosterone production. Number 4. Excess weight. Excess body weight, especially the presence of abdominal fat, can contribute to lower testosterone levels. Moderate obesity predominantly decreases total testosterone due to reductions associated with insulin resistance in sex hormone binding globulin. More severe obesity is additionally associated with reductions in free testosterone levels. Even though testosterone treatment can lead to moderate reductions in fat mass, obesity itself, in the absence of symptomatic androgen deficiency, is not an established indication for testosterone therapy. Testosterone therapy can worsen untreated sleep apnea and compromise fertility. A study from 2007 with 1,667 men aged 40 or older found that each one-point increase in BMI was associated with a 2% decrease in testosterone. Additionally, a study from 2008 with 1,862 men aged 30 or older found that waist circumference was an even stronger predictor of low testosterone levels than BMI. A 10-centimeter increase in waist size raised a man's chances of having low testosterone by 75%. For comparison, 10 years of aging only increased the chances by 36%. In short, waist circumference was the strongest predictor of developing symptoms of testosterone deficiency. And if you doubt these two American studies, just consider the Australian research that found that nearly one in seven obese men could benefit from testosterone replacement, a rate more than four times higher than non-obese men. Number five, lack of physical exercise. Physical inactivity is associated with lower testosterone levels. Regular exercise, especially resistance training, can help increase levels. Research shows that testosterone levels increase for short periods after exercise, ranging from 15 minutes to an hour, depending on the man. Younger men get a bigger post-exercise boost. Testosterone levels also vary throughout the day. They're typically higher in the morning and lower in the afternoon. For more testosterone, focus on weight and resistance training. Cardio is still important for weight control and heart health, but exercises like bench press, deadlifts, and squats will have a bigger impact on testosterone levels. In addition to exercise, there may be other factors that affect testosterone. Your level of fitness, weight, and medical conditions like obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome come into play. Never underestimate the importance of a good night's sleep and a healthy, balanced diet. Number six, vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D plays an important role in regulating testosterone levels. Sun exposure and supplementation may be necessary in cases of deficiency. Men with lower levels of vitamin D exhibited significantly lower testosterone concentrations compared to those with higher levels of vitamin D. Additionally, a positive correlation between vitamin D levels and TT was observed, particularly among men with vitamin D deficiency or insufficiency. The influence of vitamin D on testosterone levels has been extensively investigated in various studies. Number seven, excess caffeine. 
Excessive caffeine consumption can increase cortisol levels, which can, in turn, impact testosterone levels. Many tea-boosting supplements also use coffee or caffeine as one of their active components, along with various other ingredients that work together to enhance different bodily processes that are directly or indirectly linked to testosterone synthesis. However, manufacturers also suggest that supplementation will only yield optimal results when combined with an active lifestyle and a healthy diet. However, you can only be more certain when you see the scientific evidence behind it. While some studies show a positive influence of coffee on serum testosterone, some results have been negative or remain inconclusive. One of the studies from the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism aimed to discover the influence of caffeine on testosterone. It involved examining the effect of varied doses of caffeine on a group of athletes just before their routine strength training. The researchers concluded that caffeine has the potential to elevate testosterone levels. However, it also increased cortisol levels, which should be taken into consideration because elevated levels of this hormone hinder testosterone production. A study conducted to verify the correlation between testosterone and caffeine also supported the fact that caffeine can have a positive impact on testosterone. It's best not to overdo it with caffeine. Number 8. Lack of Sexual Activity Prolonged sexual abstinence can lead to a temporary decrease in testosterone levels. In the case of sexual function, testosterone is a key element in your libido. It regulates the phosphodiesterase enzymes necessary for the actual excitement part of sexual intercourse. Research suggests that when things stray from normal testosterone levels, it can affect your sexual performance. Studies have shown that elevated levels of testosterone are associated with premature ejaculation, while lower levels of testosterone are associated with sexual dysfunction, including both delayed ejaculation and reduced ejaculatory volume. Research concluded that there is actually no relationship between testosterone levels and sexual activity. In other words, men with high levels of testosterone aren't having more or less sex. Number 9. Excessive Sugar Consumption a diet high in added sugars may be associated with insulin resistance, which can negatively affect testosterone production. Yes, that's right. Testosterone levels drop drastically almost immediately after sugar consumption due to the rapid release of insulin in the body. Men with chronically low testosterone may face a host of issues, including increased body fat, loss of muscle mass, poor sexual performance, osteoporosis, difficulty concentrating, memory loss, and unsatisfactory sleep. In women, consistently low testosterone can lead to lethargy, loss of muscle mass and strength, loss of libido, low motivation, and mood swings. High sugar intake reduces testosterone even in young, healthy men, according to a 2018 U.S. study. The more sugary sodas guys drink, the lower their testosterone ends up dropping. Another study from 2013 showed that oral glucose intake by adult men led to a sharp drop in both total and free testosterone levels. If you've made it this far, I'm sure you liked the video. Here's the thing. Have you been training for a while and your muscles don't seem to be developing? I've prepared a guide to get you out of this situation and gain muscle up to three times faster. The link to this guide is in the description and in the first comment attached. Number 10. Sedentary Lifestyle A sedentary lifestyle especially when it involves long periods of sitting, may be associated with lower testosterone levels. Based on cross-sectional data from 1,210 healthy young Danes, it was investigated whether sedentary lifestyle was associated with testicular function, semen quality, and reproductive hormones independent of physical activity. Men were invited to participate in the study between 2008 and 2012, when they underwent mandatory medical examination to determine their fitness for military service. Information about sedentary behavior, time spent watching television and using the computer, and physical activity was obtained through a questionnaire. The men underwent a physical examination, provided a semen sample, and collected a blood sample. Time spent watching television, but not time sitting in front of the computer, was associated with lower sperm counts. Which of these things that kill your testosterone level do you do daily in your routine? Tell us down below in the comments.